Hey friends, Kevin here, and I've got another deal for you that I've stumbled across you may be interested in. Now, you know I recently did this video on these Jackery portable power stations, and those things are really popular. It's a really good brand. There are several other good brands, and one of these just went on sale. It's the equivalent of a Jackery 300, and it's by the time you get done with the coupon and everything that's available right now, it gets it down to almost half the price of a Jackery 300. Here it is. I'm going to put a link down in the description so you can bounce over and check the current price on Amazon. But let me tell you about this and what it will do and what you can reasonably power with this. Now, this Rock Pals 300 is going to be the equivalent roughly of a Jackery 300. It means you can pull... 300 watts, you can power a 300 watt 110 device with it, which is going to be something up to roughly three amps. So your 110 devices, 115, 120, whatever you want to call it, like you would have a household standard outlet. This is going to allow you again to charge things like laptops. This is going to be enough to run a CPAP machine through the night, probably for Depending on your CPAP settings, if you have heaters and humidifiers and things turned off, you can probably get a couple of nights out of it with this particular power pack. It's going to run 12 volt stuff. It's going to be able to run for several days and nights these little efficient compressor 12 volt refrigerators that are so popular. So this is going to be a good option for people who don't want the expense of solar to go through through all the installations and cutting holes and things you have to do to do a, do a solar system. It's going to be simple. Now, I'm going to give you some tips on how you're going to use this thing. One, it comes as far as charging it. You can hook, buy, and hook solar panels to any of these packs. But unless you're going out and you're just sitting in the middle of nowhere for days and days at a time, you really don't need to do that. You can charge these things, again, on a regular wall outlet, so you're going to fully charge it up before you leave your home. The other way you can charge this is off of 12 volt, which means you can charge it off your vehicle. So I will use a battery pack like this. I use mine to run a fan all night during the summer. I will use it, run the fan all night, and then in the morning, I will get up and I will plug it into my cigarette lighter and I take off down the highway and I'm running around and I'm out exploring. And as I'm doing things like that throughout the day and I'm driving, my system is constantly recharging that little battery pack. And the one I have, while a different brand, and I paid a lot more money for it, is the size of this one we're talking about now. When nighttime comes, it's fully charged or close to it, and it's going to get me through the night again with whatever I want to hook to it. So it really is that simple. It's a good option for people. One thing I do want to tell you, though, if you're going to be hooking one of these 12 volt compressor refrigerators, I'm laughing because my cat's trying to get up here. One of these 12 volt compressor refrigerators is if you're going on a weekend trip or you're taking off on your vacation, you want to get that refrigerator plugged into your house 110 power outlet. You want to get that thing down to temperature and then put it in your van, hook it to one of these battery packs, and then take off on your trip. And the battery pack will keep this thing going for several days. And the reason for that, when you have this thing and it's an ambient temperature of 70 or 80 degrees, and now you're trying to get this thing to cool down to 30 it's going to take a lot of power and it's going to take several hours of running on full power in order to do that. So you don't want to be using your battery pack right off the bat, trying to get one of these 12 volt refrigerators to come all the way down to temperature. You want to do that before you take off on your adventure. And then this battery pack is going to do just fine and it's going to run it well enough. Again, you can should be able to get a couple of days and nights out of a fully charged battery pack running that 12 volt refrigerator because these 12 volt compressor refrigerators, and I did a video on these things also, they're not running all the time. They go in on and off cycles. So during every hour, they're probably only running 15 to 20 minutes, generally about a third of the time. And that's one of the reasons they are so efficient and burn 
so little power. So if you want to run a 12 volt refrigerator, this is a good battery to put with it. If you want need to run a CPAP machine, this is going to be a good battery to put with it. Again, these things are on sale right now. There's additional little coupon box. You can click on that page for the price for one this size from a name reliable brand. It's, it's the best deal that I've run into. So hopefully that helps some of you out. As far as what I'm doing, I just got cleared by the doctor, which is a long story I'll get into in some video. I am ready to get on the road again. I've had a few small trips that I've not filmed for you, but I am ready to do something major and long now. So you're going to see other how-to videos and travel videos and all of that good stuff coming up soon. I appreciate you watching. Everybody take care.